Thal Synthesis official trailer. To be forgotten. A fate worse than death. It is as though my very oh, thoughts wow. are breaking. Fracturing into tiny splinters. There are secrets buried in my memories, Exile. Important secrets. Repair the memory stable. Save idea. these memories. Preserve them. But move swiftly. Lest to be forgotten. So it like, makes... Wow. So it's like a time thing? I guess you take damage from the blue stuff. Holy shit. These graphics are really nice. In this realm, ideas may be manifested into reality. Wow. Build paths to secrets long forgotten. Holy shit. Treasures you could only dream of, synthesized into your very hands. Oh shit, okay. To create so it's new for, it's crafting stuff. Unbroken. Wow. Oh, I guess, oh, that's one of the new bosses. Yeah, I think these are, yeah, this is definitely a new boss. Holy shit. March 8th? Well, that's in like a month. How do they keep doing this? What do you mean? How do they keep coming up with new shit synthesis. all the time? You will meet Cavus and help him recover his lost memories. Enter Cavus's memories and stabilize them by fighting your way to memory stabilizers before they decay. Sure. Connect these memories together in the memory nexus to reach distant memories containing dangerous bosses and valuable rewards. That's fucking awesome. Wow. Oh shit. Horrendous coin. I haven't seen that in a long time. Memories Holy decay shit. after a few runs, so plan your path carefully. Decaying memories yield fractured items with broken mods that are locked in place. Wow. Oh, so you can. Oh, oh my god. That's fucking ridiculous. Consume these fractured items to synthesize new base types with custom implicit mods based on the fractured items you used. What the fuck? Synthesis also contains a complete balance overhaul of all spells in Path of Exile, six new Chaos and Holy spells, and significant incentives for handcasting, including several new support gems. This game's actually like. Check out pathofexile.com slash synthesis too. to learn more. Damn. Well, I guess the I guess the main question is like, is Righteous Fire going to be good? Because if it's not, I, I won't play it. Blade Vortex is almost as easy as Righteous Fire, and like the Necromancer build I had, you don't even have to hit any buttons at all. Like you don't even need to use your flasks. Like you literally just run around. I don't care. I want to play Righteous Fire. Yeah, but I'm saying like the Righteous Fire is boring. Yeah, I think it is boring, but it's also relaxing too. Like I. This boss looks really fucking cool, too. It's crazy to see, like, how much growth the game has had. Uh, like, it, it's just gotten more and more popular. I'm really happy to see this. And uh, wh what's Diablo doing? Um, Diablo, yeah, let's check out, yeah, let's check out the latest news. Diablo yeah, news. Yeah, what, what's going on with Diablo 3?